welcome to uh, the twentieth edition of Beverages with with Brad. That's correct. This is Beverages with Ben. See what we did there. The network wanted a younger, more uh, di <laughs> diverse comedian to host, so I figured it'd be fitting to have Brad Pierce as my first guest. Thanks, I appreciate yeah. you having me. Let's see. It just so happened to work out that you're my only, my only friend that will film and edit videos. Mm. Uh, I think that's the, the only reason why anyone ever puts me on anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like the uh, the kid growing up who like had a trampoline in his backyard. <laughs> I guess the first question is, besides ripping off Jerry Seinfeld, <laughs> what inspires you to film this show? Uh, I was trying to come up with a way to merge this whole new adventure of doing stand-up with uh, my old passion for video and wanting to keep the YouTube channel alive. Uh, I'm just assuming it's got something to do with, you have a pretty interesting background in public access television. I do, yes, it's, it's fascinating. Gotta be no, it is, I think it is interesting, because those, yeah. I, like, I remember when I was a kid, like, in the days of, like, public access, which was like the Wild West of television, you know, you were one of those guys who was on it, you know? Yeah, I was one of the weirdos. He had, like, the backyard wrestlers, and yeah. then, boom. Yeah, me. yep. So our, our production manager said that the lighting was wrong at our other location, uh, so we've now moved to a new set here. Where I'm in the shadows. What inspires you for material? I don't know. Life, I guess. Like, I've been married for a while, you know? We're coming up on eight years. Applause break. Um, was I knew right away I didn't want to be one of those comics that goes up there and just complains about their wife. Yeah. Sometimes things that maybe bothered me. Oh, or, uh, so sometimes sometimes it can be something personal like that, and then other times it's just stupid stuff. Like I I'm fascinated with the amount of disgusting crap that shows up on the Dunkin' Donuts Gross. menu. So did you just walk into a Dunkin' Donuts and say? Huh, chicken parmesan, and then a, a light bulb went off in your head. Yes. The the balance of uh, wanting my material to be relatable, but wanting it to be creative and original, I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, like the stuff about Dunkin' Donuts is so generic and and common and not very creative, but it hits a big audiences because they all go to Dunkin' yeah. every morning. So yeah. I don't know. Are you going to ask me what I'm writing down over here? No, I don't care. In order to get through some of Brad's uh, ridiculously boring answers, uh, <laughs> I have a list of uh, I have a list of my favorite Brendan Fraser movies uh, over here that you host karaoke, which is just such a weird world that uh, <laughs> like you you always say, oh, comedy, what a strange thing that we're involved in, but like karaoke is just a lot more mm -hmm. bizarre. People get really passionate about it, and I've said this to you before, but I feel like that no matter what you you're doing whether it be comedy or karaoke you're almost like you're like a chaperone for adult field trips pretty much uh, yeah i don't have kids uh but at the same time working with uh drunk adults every night I mean, it's almost like working at a daycare yeah, in a way. yeah. yeah. I, I i don't know how you do like when when nobody's performing a song you have to go up and perform i i appreciate you giving me credit for that but i mean i essentially like go joke around, sing a couple Beastie Boy songs and have yeah. fun and they get paid for it. So yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, you're regarded I, as <laughs> within the industry as one of the nice guys, right? Oh, wouldn't you wouldn't you, you tell say? me, I, appre I appreciate that's a nice compliment. He's one of the nice guys, uh, which should be the name of your first Netflix special. <laughs> one of Brad the nice Pierce, guys. One of the, ni one of the nice guys. I thought my special was gonna be yeah. called Comedy, Who Needs It? Comedy, Who Needs It? The Brad Pierce Show. Ben Smith. They never said it'd be easy. Exactly. So, <laughs> what's it like being a nice guy in an industry full of self-obsessed egomaniacs? But I obviously um, am, it can be very self-centered uh, too, which is, you know, I mean, look, I do this show. I, the fact that we all want to be on stage constantly, yeah. having everybody look and listen, we, we obviously have mental problems. It's you know? like a need to be like, like listened to, yeah. I think the older I get, the more aware of the flaws I have and, and, and stupid selfish shit that I do, so yeah. I try to be um, more gracious to other people because I feel like yeah. uh, we're all really screwed like, up. Growing up, all I wanted to do was just try comedy and be and do and, and, and yeah, you're and, doing and it. Here I, I, I guess I'm doing it. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's a blessing to just to be able to go up there and make some people laugh, and that the fact that with the way technology in the world works now, it's amazing that anybody will even come out to a comedy show and listen to some yeah, dudes yeah, talking yeah. for a exactly. while. Off the stage, you are such a self-deprecating guy, you know? And maybe that has to go with the nice guy thing. Okay. But, like, you're, you don't give yourself any credit, you know? Like, you just played an audience, what, a week ago that had over a 1,000 people. 
Um, it was a thousand, it was 700. But. Well, who's counting? I didn't do my research. It was 700 people, you know? Um, and I feel like you never give yourself any credit uh, as much as, as you should, is what I'm trying to say. Thank you. Yeah. I don't, I don't, it's not really a question, but I think I, I'll take you, it as a compliment, on, I guess. You put on, like, sadder music in the background. <laughs> the <laughs> full house music, like, at the end. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you say caramel or caramel? Uh, caramel. Okay, I agree with that. Looks like this interview is over.